our winner of this year's 2005 Chicago Idol competition is Miss Stephanie Parker. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down, 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 down. Instagram message. TikTok message. He hits it on every platform just to let me know to keep it nice and warm. Eggplant emojis. He know just how to get a hold of me. All day I be reading. It be so lit in my DM. What's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Steph here and today guys this is the last one part four of how to be a cruise ship series this has been really really fun coming up with all of this content for those of you all that are new to my channel welcome to the shenanigans I am an entertainer for Royal Caribbean I do a tribute to the wonderful Whitney Houston I also vlog for Royal Caribbean so every Monday Wednesday and Friday right here on this channel I take you all on the road with me as I perform my guest entertainer show with Royal Caribbean. Now, part four is all about how to work with a cruise ship orchestra. If you are trying to do this job, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to learn how to work with the orchestra. Now, before we get into it, you know how we do it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. 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 Happy Halloween. I know Halloween is tomorrow, so I try to be festive for you all with my little pumpkin headband. This is about all you're gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. I don't know where Max is. I heard him frolicking about. You know he's gonna make some kind of VIP appearance. He will show his face, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so first and foremost, it's time to rehearse your show. You're on the ship, you're nervous. When you walk into that room, you've got to walk in the room, the theater meaning, because the orchestra's gonna be waiting for you. They'll be there 30 minutes before you get there. Okay, and you get there 15 minutes before you're supposed to get there so you can set all your stuff up. But when you walk in, walk in with confidence, walk in with a smile, introduce yourself to the band. They should have all of your info ahead of time um, as far as lighting and sound engineers. So you should be able to use your full rehearsal time just to work with the orchestra because you do not have a whole lot of time. Set your table up with your water and your towels. Bring your own glass and towels, okay? Don't expect people to bring them there for you. Just bring them yourself. Ain't nobody gonna take care of you like you, okay? So, number one, extremely important. Rehearse your rehearsals. Practice how you're gonna teach each song before rehearsals. Know what measure you need to spend a little extra time on. Is it measure 65? Is it letter D? Is it letter A on I have nothing? Know the little tricky parts that you know are gonna take a little bit of extra time. Already know that. Know your charts. Know how to sight read. Know how to sight sing. Read and study your charts. Very important. Number two, before you start your actual rehearsal with everyone, have side conversations with specific orchestra members. For instance, when I walk into my rehearsal, I go straight to the drummer, because the drummer is very important. This show is live. So the feel of the show, this R&B, this 6-8 music, it needs to be right. And there's a moment during I Have Nothing, which is a little bit before letter G. I know you don't know that, but I know that. Um, where we get to the do, he has the hit with my hand. Make me bop, boom, close, bop. part straight with them. I also get the end of I will always love you straight with them right before the boom. And I 
like have side conversations with your specific orchestra members. That way you're not wasting time. Once I finish with my drummer, I go to my piano player. We have a little chat, a chat about um, the piano specific parts of the show. Then I talk to my lead guitar. I know what parts I need to talk to him about. I talk to my bass guitar. I know he's got a tremolo on I Have Nothing. He also has one at the end of Saving All My Love For You. You know what I'm saying? Like have your side conversations. Number three, learn how to count your songs in. Your charts will have tempos written in the corner, but every drummer plays different. I used to depend on the music director to count my songs in and they'll look at the number on the page and say it's 158 beats per minute and then they set that little metronome and they try to lock in with it. It's like, come on man, you gotta count it in, I just gotta feel right. So I came up around some really great band leaders in my day and I love Quincy Jones so I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm tired of being stressed out, I'm tired of stuff being counted in too fast, too slow. So I recommend learn how to count your songs in. I have nothing, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm your baby tonight, one, two, three, four. The greatest love of all, one, two, four. I'm saving all my love for you. One, two, three, four, five, boom, boom. But on natural woman, a one, two, three, go, boom, go, go, boom, boom, right? Know your tempos. Also, learn how to cut your songs at the end. You know, I, I end uh, the greatest love of all, in love, bam. And, and, and you know, just do as much stuff yourself because it just makes it easier on everybody. Number four, your floor monitors. I always have three floor monitors, one on zero and then two on the sides. I wanna be in a little half semicircle of sound. As far as what you need to come out of those floor monitors, all I have are my vocals, and uh, piano for pitch purposes. Everything else, drums, horns, bass, that stuff is loud enough on stage. I just need me and piano because the piano is what gives you your pitch. Number five, practice your segues. If you don't know what a segue is, it's basically one, song's, one song ends and it goes directly into the next song with no talking or banter in. What are the answer at? What are banter like? Hey, she said, oh, what's the banter like? You had to watch part three to get that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> practice your segues. The orchestra is reading your show, right? So they've got charts in front of you. And if you finish, like for instance, I do I have nothing first and then we segue right into I'm your baby tonight. Well, they need to practice the last note of I'm your, I have nothing, boom. Then they gotta hurry up and get that chart out of the way because we're coming right in with Save It, I mean with um, I'm your baby tonight. So you need to practice those with your orchestra. Just make sure that they know that this is a segue and they need to be ripping that chart out of the way so they can hurry up and get to the next song, right? Number six, talk your entire show down at the beginning and end of the rehearsal. Also, talk it down five minutes right before showtime, okay? This is like, if you if you say where we're going, you know, at the top of rehearsal, you just talk the whole show down. It's like a, setting a roadmap for everybody because this is all new information. These guys have never played this stuff before, so they need to see where we're headed, where we're trying to get to, you know? And um, I love talking the show down. It, it helps me as well, you know? And once we've actually played the whole show, Talk it down again at the end of rehearsal. And then five minutes right before showtime, talk it down. So you need to basically have that memorized, how you talk your show down. For instance, if I was, if you all were my orchestra and I want to talk the show down to you, I say, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pre-recorded introduction. Intro is going to say, remembering Whitney, the greatest voice of all, I count a C in one, two, three, four, five, six, bum, bo, do, bo. curtain goes up, I walk forward, right? Then I talk to my drummer, remember at two before letter G? Don't make me bop, boom, close, right? And then at the end of I Have Nothing, everybody watch your musical director. He's gonna bring you in on, uh, if I don't have you, right? So, and then I just move on down to I'm your baby tonight. You know, you have to know how to talk your whole show down and you need to get it down quick. I know I was talking fast just then, but sometimes you only have five minutes right before showtime, so you need to get this down. Number seven, take your time in rehearsal. Don't be afraid to run something twice. I don't care if people huff and puff and moan or whatever. I always say, I like to rehearse. So, you know, I don't have a problem, it, it, but it, it's gotta be tight. Even ladies, if you've gotta forego 30 minutes of doing your makeup, 
because you need 30 minutes of extra time in rehearsal, take that time and do a rush job on your makeup. Don't let the rehearsal end until it's tight, okay? And when you first start, you probably will need the first couple of hours, but once you get in the rhythm of things, I had those cats out of there in an hour. I try to, unless it's a lot of new hires, you know? Number eight, this is a good tie-in. Be patient and kind with your orchestra. There are gonna be mistakes. You got a little over an hour to get this show together and they're reading it. It's not gonna be perfect. You know, we're human. That's what makes live entertainment great. And, and just remember, this is a team effort and they are there to assist you. They are not your employees. Some people, I don't like seeing people talk down to or orchestra members or think that they're better or whatever or get upset with them because they messed up a part. I would never get upset. I'm so appreciative of those guys playing. They're on, the, on those ships away from their families and friends for six, seven, eight months at a time. And they have to play not just for me, but for all the acts. So if I can make it as easy on them as possible, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Number nine, we're just flowing along here. This is a good video today. Number nine, dress professional. I always dress professionally when I come to rehearsals. I wear all black with my heels. As a women entertainer, I sometimes found it intimidating walking into a room full of men, stage production manager, orchestra, you know, I would, I would be intimidated because I'd have to boss up basically. And it can be very, very scary, but I learned people take you seriously by how you carry yourself. So if you walk in the room like a boss, not a bitch, not mean, not a diva, pun intended, but looking like you know what you're doing and if you can be professional with it, people are gonna automatically take you extremely seriously. So look nice. Don't come to your rehearsal in some Uggs and some sweatpants and sweat, don't do that. <laughs> Number 10, know how to cue vamps, right? You got vamps if you wanna take it around a long time. If, this, you can only do this if your show is live, by the way. If you got tracks, you're in the box, you can't vamp. But let's just say um, we're doing Saving All My Love For You. We vamp that intro, right? So we count it in one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Right? This is the signature sign to take it around again. Take it around again. And you need to make sure that that signal is big. I even turn around just so I make sure everybody on stage sees me. Don't be, don't be doing one of these. No, you need to make it big, okay? Um, there's another sign, uh, one hand up like this. This is simple. That means stop. Whatever happens, even if something crazy happens on stage. This is the signature, you know, signal for stop. Uh, kneeling down, like crouching down, that means kind of be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Like you learn these universal signals that orchestras understand um, the more you do it. And your chart will say vamp on cue. So you have to be the one cueing that stuff. So you need to just watch some amazing band leaders. Quincy Jones for one, go, go study some Quincy, okay? Number 11. Tech your opening number. What that means is run it as the show. Fly the main curtain in. Have the microphone preset. You're behind the curtain um, getting ready to sing. That way, I learned this from being a production singer. Like the tech run is like just adding all of the technical stuff, the lighting, everything. So I always, after I finish my whole rehearsal, I go back to the top of the show. I have them bring the, the uh, curtain in and they play the pre-recorded introduction and we pretend it is the show. You know what I'm saying? And I say, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, 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 And they know to fly that curtain out as soon as that keyboard starts. And that way, you know, you don't have a whole lot of time to put this together, but at least it looks like everybody knows what they're doing because we've already rehearsed it, right? Number 12, this is my last tip. Remember to comment below if you have any questions and I'll answer them in next week. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down Sunday, she thought I forgot. No, I just wanted to get this amazing information out to you. Number 12 is for my ladies or gentlemen, but ladies, bring your show shoes to rehearsal. I always put my show shoes, my heels, out on the table during rehearsal. And when you're doing that first tech run of the of the, of the the song, the first song of the show, put your show shoes on, adjust your microphone to the height with your heels on. That way that's one less thing you have to do right when you get backstage, because you got a lot to do uh, when you get back backstage before showtime. So 
all you want to have to do when you get backstage is get dressed, pray, and talk the show down with the orchestra. You don't want to be adjusting. You don't want to be doing anything technical before showtime. Don't be talking to the cruise director. Cruise directors want to talk to me before a show. And I'm like, I have so much to do. I cannot. Because that's your boss. And you want to be nice. You know what I'm saying? But you got a lot of stuff to do. So I prefer to talk to the cruise director after the show, after I've done my job. You know what I'm saying? But ladies, definitely bring your show shoes to rehearsal. Guys, those were my tips. I really enjoyed myself. This video, I didn't want to say I rushed through it, but I'm heading to the Oasis of the Seas tomorrow to cruise with my best friend, Jonathan. Oh my gosh. So I've got, got to finish packing and getting Max situated. I'm surprised he didn't make a, a visit. He's got new toys, guys. He's got new toys. Speaking of uh, new toys, tomorrow, it's a very short video, but it's a Halloween video of Max opening his kitten box. It was a Halloween theme. It was super, super cute. I love you guys. Stay safe out there if you're going trick-or-treating with your costumes. Comment below, what are you going to be? Do you dress up? Do you do funny stuff for Halloween? What kind of candy do you like to eat? Comment below if you like this video. I love you guys. Make sure you comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notification, notifications, notifications. Happy Halloween. I love you guys. Peace. Now that it's over, we're finally sober. We made memories, we made memories, yeah. Stay till the morning, but now we're both falling. We made memories, we made memories, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Steph's own repeat jam of the week is yet again Memories by John Legend. I love this song, y'all. I just love, love songs. John still writes stuff for us ladies, you know. You guys should check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, this Halloween setting on down Sundays. I certainly enjoyed it. I can't wait to do something for you next week. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I'm going to plan it when I go on the Oasis next week. I'm so excited to go on the Oasis with my best friend. Oh my God. Anyway, make sure you check me out on TikTok, man. I have a good time over there. Stephanie Parker Music. I messed up I'm trying to plug my TikTok. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Still thanks you for watching.